Good morning everyone. My name is S Rajveer and I am going to present before you on the topic of graphene as an innovative water treatment device. So here are the contents why we need water treatment device, what are 3D GBMs, importance of 3D GBMs, their strategic utilization and the future. So why we need water treatment device? As you all know that by 2025 an estimated 1.8 billion people will live in areas plagued by water scarcity which means two thirds of the world's population will live in water stress regions. The current waste water treatment are incompetent to the new pollutants pertaining to the strict water quality standards. What are 3D GVMs and how they are made of? 3D GVMs are nothing but a three dimensional graphene based macrostructures or a self assembly of graphene all graphene oxides having large number of hydrophilic oxygenated groups for example graphene aerogels which helps them in removing the organic pollutants secondly it consists of huge network of interconnected three dimensional porous network of size in the range of sub micrometer to micrometer which helps in the fast kinetics of adsorption they are prepared by the self assembly of graphene oxides followed by freeze drying and the imbalance between the electrostatic repulsive force with the Van der Waal force causes the self assembly of the graphene. So, here is the external and the internal structure of the graphene aerogel. Uh, importance of the 3D GBMs easy to recover and recycle is the major merit of the, these 3D nanostructures, which re reduces the overall treatment cost of the process. Secondly, the graphene's high specific area to volume ratio and high surface free energy makes them an excellent material for adsorption with fast kinetics. Then no release of nanomaterials into the water makes them an effective device for the treatment of the wastewater. And last, various nanomaterials can be incorporated into the GBMs to make a multifunctional nanocomposite which increases their field of application in water. So here are the three strategic utilization of the GBMs. First is the adsorption. As you all know, it's a simple process of uh, water treatment. Secondly, the capacitive deionization in which the GBMs are made into electrodes and then electric field is passed through them and then the water treatment is done. Third, the catalytic degradation in which the 3D GBMs acts as a substrate for the catalysts of the photocatalysis reaction and helps them improve their properties. Uh, so here are the future challenges. First, the use of chemicals like sulfuric acid and potassium permanganate in the manufacture of the graphene oxides pollutes the water. Secondly, the production of the 3D GBMs on a commercial level is still a challenge for us. And last but not the least, up till now the study is restricted to certain areas only. Thank you.